just an hour's drive west of Dallas and Fort Worth, awaits a land of rivers, canyons, and clear lakes. Lake Possum Kingdom lies nestled in the rugged cliffs of Palo Pinto country. As far as lakes in the whole state of Texas, this is one of their crown jewels. 911, what's your emergency? I'm seeing, a, I think it's a house on fire, a big fire, and the wind is like crazy up here. My favorite lake set ablaze. Hundreds of acres and dozens of homes burned to the ground. Join us as we take a trip to Possum Kingdom. Oh my God, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. Oh my God, that's her. Good morning, wieners. Fresh out the shower this morning. It's a new day. We're still in Possum Kingdom. Nothing like waking up to this view. I mean, incredible. Sun is just starting to rise over these canyon hills and uh, we now have to figure out how to catch these fish on a little bit different day. This is interesting. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but it's, uh, it's cloudy. We've got some serious cloud cover and then possibly maybe some rain in the distance. This has probably been one of the coolest mornings I've experienced in weeks after being back from Maine here in Texas. I'm pretty pumped. I think with this weather change, it should have some stuff going. I think the objective today is to switch things up, fish new spots, don't dabble in the areas that we dabbled in yesterday and try to learn a different bite. You know, we figured something out yesterday, but I think we can improve upon that. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to Possum Kingdom. This is day number two. There's a lot of bass over there. I caught one little guy and lost another one on the Neko. You ready, Jerry? I'm ready. Nuclear explosion. Big 10 ba pounders. Big bass only. Big bass energy. Let's go hammer on PK. You're done. That's huge. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> That's something, that's something special. <laughs> Not a good start. Bird's nest, snag, and then now floating dock. <laughs> you get your eyes checked, son. Oh. Is he on? Oh my God. That was a nice one. Wow. That's a bass, dude. I thought that was a striper. Oh my gosh. Nice bass, dude. Nice bass on the big top water. Holy hell, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, first fish of the day and it's on top. Like I said, I want to switch things up. We threw a lot of the worm yesterday and uh, I want to trot this big top water. I had it tied on specifically for schooling striper, but obviously big old green fish love to eat it too. I thought he was way bigger than that. I mean, he crushed the big spook. Look at this big spook, man. I love throwing big top water this time of year. There you have it, first fish of the day on the mondo spook such a cool little lure it resembles the big gizzard shad in here and not all the fish are going to be keyed in on the big bait but the ones that are keyed on the big baits are the ones we want so you know we're not going to get a ton of bites on something of this size but they're going to be good bites quality fish this is a good start to our day definitely a lot better than yesterday i mean i went probably three hours without a single bass god bless man he's he wasn't going nowhere first fish let's go dude PK, getting it started off in the morning. No need for coffee when you got top water bites. Thank you, bud. Catch you later, dude. That was sweet. Nice point, nice little drop off with just loads of fish that, I mean, they're here, bro, like his bait's coming through and they're just plucking the bait off off the edge. Yeah, and if we can get one to bite, then they get yeah, fired up. Yeah, then they get up. fired up, exactly. Load up the boat real quick. Yes, sir. See, look, now they're all the way out here, too. That's one. Nice job. Good one. Might be good. You got one. Yeah. Do I need a net? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. I might need a net. Yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> job, Jerry. <laughs> we got one. We got one to eat. We're going to land it. Yep. Here, buddy. In the net. There we go. Woo. Sweet. We're trying to replicate the pattern that we were on yesterday with the, the Nico 
Slim Shake, and then also the Mondo Worm Bite. We found a nice point here, and there's probably like 15 bass, went over them with the rig, went over them with the top water. They showed interest, but no commitment. Jerry, of course, Mr. Clutch, came in with the, uh, the little tiny drop shot swim bait, and that was enough to get them to eat. They must be eating a real tiny shad down there because they weren't after anything else. It's a good like three pounder. Yeah. It's a quality fish. Yeah, solid little chunk there. Let's go, baby, put it there. All right, well, we're on the board. We both have nice ones. We're, this is a lot better than yesterday, for sure, already. We're getting started off on a, on a high note, which is important. Is it just slow eat or? Yeah, yeah, just slow reeling it. Let me, start, let me get that. See you later, bud. Sweet. Let's keep going. Got bit again. He's got it. Just choke it. Got him. I'm gonna join you. Nothing big, but it's bass. A little guy, of course, Jerry gets the big one. I got the danker. Nice fish though. It's a good feeling you're right in front of a point and you know there's like a dozen fish down there ready to eat. See you, bud. Thank you. That's a big one. That's a giant. Broke me off. No. Wait, look at there's some down there. Down that edge. So that's a that's a good fish right there. These points, man. It's these bare points, no docks, no nothing, just straight rock. It's a fish? Fish. That's crazy. It's a large one. Bacon! Oh. Bacon! 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 That's what's up, baby. We're not getting snagged. We're catching dinks and losing giants. Saw some white bass oh, shit. attacking my, my lure, so. I'm gonna throw the fly rod and try not to hook John in the face. No, better big one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just broke off. Where did they go? Oh my god. Yeah, oh. there they are. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Oh, <laughs> nice job, dude. That's so sick. <laughs> On the streamer. I broke off and Jerry's having fun with the fly rod. So this is why we came to Possum. You can do stuff like that. You, you know, you'll be fishing a worm one moment, and then you'll see white bass come up and you pick up the fly rod of all things. I bet that was fun, even on a seven weight. Yeah, there we go, a little white bass on the fly, going back in. Unreal. So, as I re-spool my line, because it's junk and I just broke off on a fish, I figured I'd take this moment to share with you guys something kind of interesting. We've been having some pretty disgusting warm weather here, you know, nothing like obviously what's going on in California on the west coast, but this has been probably one of the more dry summers since maybe, I believe, 2011. And with that comes wildfires. And where we're actually positioned right now, just over the ridge, uh, there was a very, very nasty wildfire, I think a couple weeks ago. It burned down 427 acres. It leveled quite a few houses. The, uh, the damage was, was pretty severe. And uh, it's incredible to think that you can have wildfire right next to a lake, especially since a lot of what's around here, surrounding is, you know, it's lush. The foliage is surprisingly pretty green, even though everything else outside of Possum Kingdom is very dry and it's all mesquite bushes and armadillos and stuff like that. But just take a look at some of this footage we shot uh, a couple couple weeks ago when we came out here to check out the fires. Apparently it was very bad. Thankfully it's under control, but there are fires happening like every day here in Texas, sometimes small, uh, but those small ones can lead to, to really nasty flames. And it sucks, you know, some people they have spent all their life saving up money to get a house on this beautiful lake and so it burns down, you know, something like that happens. But I just thought you'd find that pretty interesting. Uh, it would have been incredible to come out here and fish when the fires were going, but I imagine it probably would not have been a safe mood. Anyway, this is my current situation. We're on a roll. We've really figured out a pattern. Like, this feels really good. Uh, we've got some spots we're going to revisit. Like I said, today we're on a completely different end of the lake, trying some different types of tactics. It seems to be like if the boat's in 40 to 50 feet of water and we're casting up towards the bank, that's money. Oh, Jerry. Go, uh, should, should I, can you, I do yeah, it real quick? You yeah, do you mind? Sure. I want to get a crack at these guys. They're on it. Oh, they're little ones. If they were bigger, this would be a lot easier. Oh, that was so cool, dude. On the fly, on the freaking fly. <laughs> That's a little bit better one. Wow, these guys pull very hard, even on a seven weight, which is intended, you know, for bass. And uh, you know, hopefully today we get a chance to catch some some big old carp on on this rod. That's a chunky one. Look at that. Come here, buddy. That's actually, you know what? That might be my first ever white bass on a fly. Incredibly fun to catch. They are widespread throughout Texas. 
and uh, they're fun. They're ferocious. If you find a school of them, it's going down in the DMs. Look at that. Should I be like every like fly guy and be like, "Got to let him know you caught it on the on the hair." Decent little fish, just a little clouser. It's actually not a bad one. Really good eating too. Uh, I think like the limit in Texas is like 25 or I don't know. There may not even be a limit. Don't quote me on that. Good little fish. That was fun. <laughs> See you later, dude. The old Merc VA eats a lot of gas. For whatever reason, I didn't fill up before getting here. We only had three quarters of the tank starting yesterday, and now we're just about empty. So it's time to time to buy some of that premium lake gas because you know if gas is on the lake, then it obviously it's more money. Five dollars and ninety nine cents for eighty seven. Okay, let's go broke here. Hey, you're on the shirtless program. Yeah, bud. Doing a, a little chest flex right now? Yeah, I'm on the shirtless program. Uh, just flexing my abs. See, all I had to do was take my shirt off last night, and I'm inspiring folks out here. As you can see, we're back at the cabin. Uh, we got some groceries, got some goods. Actually, we got some uh, stuff to possibly catch some fish today, uh, other than bass. It's so funny. We came into this trip expecting bass to be the more difficult species to target, and they've been easy. For the most part, right? I would say so. I mean, you've been catching them. We've been, if I can catch bass, then the fishing's probably pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna grow up, grab some food, then might hit that evening bite for some different species other than green bass. So I'm trying to figure out different ways to incorporate other fish that dwell in the lakes. Um, and that's why I've been trying to hone in on that emphasis of, hey, you know, we got bass, we caught some good ones, let's switch gears. We're looking good. So we're gonna grow up, chill for a bit, head back out in the water finish this video up for you guys. End it on a bang, hopefully, fingers crossed. You already know it's about to go down. All right, we're moments away from the juicy dock. I'm, I'm stoked about this. I, I just want to catch something that actually screams, pulls drag, and that uh, that is something that's not a bass because, you know, for the past two days, we've just been strictly bass fishing. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not I'm not convinced we'll catch one, but we gotta at least try. Yeah, no, it's like 702. And uh the boys over there filming a Guggen video. I'm gonna see if I can get these boys chummed up a little bit. See if, get, see if I can get them a little comfortable. And then we'll see if uh we can come tight on a big big scaly carp boy. Why it's so funny, this whole trip's been so serious. So weird. The bass have been easy and all the other fish that should be easy are not. Doing a bit of chumming over here. Oh. I just that's littering. Like by definition. There we go. Uh, here we go. Carp action commences now. Got a piece of sinking bread. Oh, something's already got it. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was really quick, dude. Literally, as soon as it sank. Oh boy, this is not good. What is that about? It's a bass, dude! It's a bass! No way, dude! No way! Shut up, bro. <laughs> dude, I just caught a bass on a piece of bread, dude. I sh you not. <laughs> oh my god. It's a good one, too. It's probably one of my biggest ones of the day. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is how insane this place is. Look, <laughs> you got that whole sequence right, Caleb. Like, from from <laughs> on a piece of bread. Let's go, baby. <laughs> For whatever reason, I can't catch anything other than freaking bass. Point proven. I threw a piece of bread in the water, and I still catch a freaking bass. Oh my god, I apologize. I was freaking geeking. Let's get this guy back in the water. <laughs> he looks a little homely. Ooh. All right, bud. You get back down there. You keep, you keep, you keep on that gluten grind. You know what I'm saying? I was like, it feels weird. It's a little too spongy to be a carp. Sure enough, a freaking. We can't avoid them. I literally said on the way into this cut, or on the way out of the cut to the dock, I was like, we've just been catching too many bass. Like, why? It's so funny. This whole trip's been so weird. So weird. The bass have been easy, 
and all the other fish that should be easy are not. We want to switch things up. We want to try to catch some carp, bring some diversity to the table in, in the videos so you guys can enjoy it. And then sure enough, bass eats bread. I'm going to cast back there and let it sink. Oh, wow. What was that? Something just... I got something big. I got something big. I got something big. I got something big. I've got something big. <laughs> this is not right. I don't know what this is. I think it's another bass, dude. It's fighting like a bass. <laughs> Here we go. Man. Here we go, boys. Here we go. I don't know what this is. This ain't no bluegill, that's for sure. Let's go. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Oh, 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 this is big. I don't know what, I think it's a carp. I think the carp are down below. Oh no, that's, that's her. Is that her? That's her, that's her, I got Oh my God, it's huge. Dude, it's huge, it's huge, it's big. Oh my God, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. Oh my God, that's her. I found her, I found her. <laughs> she hasn't woken up yet. She has no idea. Oh my God, dude, it's so big, it's so big. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is insane. This is big, big, big. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a nice one. That's Bertha. <laughs> That's Bertha. We got Bertha, boys. We got Bertha. Well, we, we set out for, for carp and the catfish decided to do uh to steal the show. And I've got probably one of my biggest catfish ever. This thing is huge. This thing is big, big. Oh my god, you <laughs> <laughs> that is so stupid. That is so stupid. I don't know if we're gonna be able to land on this, but just take a look at that thing. Holy moly. What a specimen. What a creature. It's a creature of the Black Lagoon right there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, dude. Look at that. That is insane. Just a, Is that a blue? Giant blue channel catfish. <laughs> on the marina docks. How insane. This fish is only here because people feed the fish at the docks for whatever reason. Oh my lord. Look at the size of that freaking PK river monster. <laughs> That's incredible. And what's so funny is you just have this little tiny hook barely hanging out of the corner of its mouth. We're going to get him on the hook to send him back. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so awesome. Thank you, girl, for putting up a heck of a fight. I'm gonna sit here for a minute, revive her. Make sure she swims back all good. Back down she goes. <laughs> Came off here for carp, caught catfish. Can't complain. <laughs> We've changed uh, scenery. We put the boat up in the dock. Now we're on the bank, see if we can get a, a carp. We know they're here, but we just don't see them right now. It's strange. They might be down low because they overcast. Carp are so weird. It's almost like they're one of the only fish that seems to love the heat. And when it's hot, they're up top. And when it's kind of cool like this, it seems to go down below and start feeding. But got a piece of bread, a little circle hook, and uh, we're waiting. See if we can get that carp. I promised you guys a carp, so let's see if we make it happen. I just, I don't know what this is, but as soon as it hit the water, I have a fish on. I don't know what it is. It's big though. Oh my god, I wasn't rolling on the GoPro because it happened so quick. I don't know what this is. It kind of feels like a carp. Uh oh, 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 uh oh. Not good. Okay, I gotta walk with it. He's about to get me in the dock line. He's in the dock line. I can feel him. I gotta chase him down. He's right there. What is it? I gotta go in. I gotta go in. He's on the dock line. Oh boy. Not good. No, oh, yeah, he's on the. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. What is this? We got one, baby. <laughs> Dude, as soon as it hit the water, that fish ate. Let's go, the fish we've been after, a freaking carp. I didn't think it'd be this hard, but apparently it is. Oh my God, they fight so hard. Look, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that is so sick. That is so sick, man. You can always rely on the bread. Oh my God, they fight so hard. They fight so hard. This is smaller than our biggest bass this trip, and this thing is just wrecking me. Just wrecking me. Come here, old girl, come here. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Freaking slammed. Slammed the bread. How awesome is that? <laughs> Just a little late evening carp and catfishing. 
to end the day at Pasch. And that was my goal is to make a make a series, little mini series for y'all that not only includes bass, but um, incorporates some other fish species. Wow, that is so cool. Let's get him hooked real quick. She's unhooked, little tiny hook. Back in the water she goes. Kicked and she's gone. Let's go, baby. Put it there. <laughs> so much fun on the ultralight Guggen Gold with our uh, our new prototype 1000 size reel, which is meant for, by the way, crappie and trout. But we're putting it to the test on some big old girthy PK fish. That's so much fun. Yes, got it. Yeah. Our Possum Kingdom experience is complete. After spending our mornings bluffside, slinging big worms for charged up bass, and our evenings chasing down the marina madness, coming tight on monstrous carp and catfish, I truly believe this trip is whole. Even after just a few days navigating through Possum Kingdom's winding cliffs and creeks, it's apparent to me that this incredible ecosystem is teeming with opportunity. We thank all of you for taking a few moments out of your day to share these incredible moments with us. And we hope that also this mini-series inspires you to pack up the car, grab a few rods, and get lost in the beauty of a destination such as Possum Kingdom. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.